mean, the trouble is we don't handle it very well the way that computers currently present it because we process patterns based on multiple triggered memories and computers don't work that way, um, even the modern AI systems. So I think the issue is how do we increase human interaction with um, databases, for example. And that's the work we do with products like SenseMaker so that the presentation of information to the human brain is in a form that the human brain has evolved to accept it, um, which is generally fragmented, messy, partially coherent, semi-structured, loosely coupled, all those sort of words. It's not structured. And our, our brains, I mean, concept called conceptual blending in cognitive psychology, which is bringing together multiple patterns to make a decision in a complex environment very quickly. And I say, I think, you know, the, the reason that things like social computing are successful is by accident, not by design. They actually present material um, to human beings in a way that they've evolved to handle it. Um, whereas things like Six Sigma, BPR, CRM systems present information in the way that quasi-autistic IT people have designed them to do based on what the technology demands, and that's different. We're in a transitionary phase at the moment. I must say that the transition from... And you see the same thing when people, you know, when steam technology came in, you know, everything has to be steam driven and then people realize there are limits. So, you know, whenever new technology comes through, it takes a bit of time for the co-evolution to take place. Um, and you get some nutters. I mean, anybody who believes in the singularity is probably stupid enough to have their brain put in a computer. Um, but, you know, overall, I think you're starting to see, re retailers, for example, never went down the SAP route because they knew they needed far more dynamic capability. Um, and now service companies are really regretting it. I mean, you know, the classic question you ask people if they've implemented SAP is have you been able to pay a small supplier in the last year? And it turns out they haven't because, you know, SAP works off averages. And there's a whole secondary industry around SAP of people who will now contract small suppliers at 40% markup so the large companies can employ them. So the so-called inefficiencies are going away. So a lot of those absurdities are now becoming visible, they're becoming published. And I think that will help trigger a fairly rapid change over the next decade. I think we're in for, a, we had a huge rapid change in the 80s, I think we're in for a huge rapid change now.